Get ready for the ultimate hair transformation saying goodbye to my braids. In today's video, I'm going to show you the shampoo and conditioner of the brands I will be using in today's video. I'm going to be using Nairobi conditioner and shampoo. I'm going to use my mist spray. So let's get into it. I'm going to first start taking out my braids one by one, which I'm kind of glad I did cut. So it was easy for me to take a loose. So but I said, you know, I got to give my hair a break. Um, I've been wearing these braids long enough and as you guys see my hair is still in place and the rubber band slides right off and I'm showing you guys more of me taking down my braids and the rubber band once again was easy to come off and then look at my hair it's real crinkly and I just kind of combed it and I just missed my hair a little bit so as you guys can see so I missed my hair because I'm going to go ahead and apply my conditioner. So I am showing you guys in slow motion how I am doing my hair. So I'm just spraying some mist into it. And as you guys see, it was very easy to do. And it also helps me to apply the product onto my hair, which was the Nairobi uh, conditioner. And I applied it all over my hair, my scalp. And I made sure towards the end because I'm going to let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm going to put a plastic cap over my hair. So I just made sure I got them edges really good. So as you guys see, I am applying those that cream <laughs> around my edges. The conditioner by Nairobi is really good. And it just like makes my hair soft. But the products that I did use for my braiding hair, it did make my hair already soft. But putting in water, the mist, it made it even softer. So I'm just showing you guys, I'm applying it all over and making sure that I am getting it very, very well. So I want no shedding, which when I did take out my braids, no shedding. So I am in the kitchen washing my hair out with that conditioner. And as you guys see, my hair is beautiful <laughs> with two L's and I am just making sure that I'm getting all the product out of my hair because sometimes that conditioner do, do not want to leave so I'm just making sure so I'm just washing it so I'm just showing you guys or letting you guys see how I'm making sure that I'm getting back the back of my um, head washing my hair and I'm just making sure so you guys so it's coming out the conditioner and I make sure that I am washing my ends really good and squeezing the water out. I sprayed my Afrogy um, heat protecting spray and I'm blow drying my hair and look how it looks now like I have some bangs. And then now I'm going to apply some oil. I had blow dry it. I wanted to show you guys but I wasn't able to. So I'm applying my Miel um, Rosemary Oil with the Biotin. So that's been helping my hair to grow as well. So I'm just applying it in my some areas in my scalp and around the edges. So I'm brushing my hair up now and I'm going to start spraying some leave-in conditioner by Nairobi and I'm gonna spray some water on my hair to kind of lay it down flat. And as you guys can see, ooh, my hair growed with those braids. So I'm making sure that my hair is flat and I'm using um, Baskin Lather Edge Control. And it's black owned, you guys can find it on TikTok or Amazon. And that is one of the best, best edge controls. It really do hold down your hair, makes it more smooth. So I'm really just focusing on the back because I know once I start brushing, I want it to be already laid down. So I'm just brushing it upward and well, I'm applying the edge control and then I'm going to brush it upward. So I'm just making sure that around my edges in the back and then I'm brushing it up. 
so it just be more easier for me so once I do pull my hair up all in one I don't have to wor worry about doing the back so um, I'm applying some edges around like the temple as well so I just do the temple and the uh, back portion of my hair applying the edge control I'm just showing you guys the process of me doing my hair. It takes a minute, but I do it. Take my time, and I'm just going to brush and brush. And I made sure that my brush was clean. I did, like, clean it with some shampoo before I started doing my new hairstyle. And I do have my wrap. And I'm going to... Put it around my base of my hair at the top. So I'm just trying to make sure that it is smooth as possible. So I'm going to spray some more mist water. And I'm going to use my wrap and I'm going to make sure that it is tight as possible. I'm going to hold it and then I'm just going to wrap around the base of my hair as tight as possible. So as you guys see, I have my ponytail up. So then I'm going to start, <laughs> it's like a little fan. Um, I'm going to start brushing around, making sure that my edge control is rubbed in really good. I don't have no residue. And then I'm going to um, brush the perimeter in the front of my hair upward. And I'm making sure that my ponytail is on tight. Not too tight, but tight. Now I'm going to work with my edges. I'm applying the Baskin Lather once again. And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, mist spray of water. And then I'm going to use a little bit of edge control. And everybody probably say, well, do that leave residue? It does, but it depends on how much you apply. Um, this helps me because it makes my hair smooth. So I'm training my hair in the process because I'm trying not to use uh, chemicals in my hair a lot since I am relaxed. So it's probably been a month since I haven't had a perm, um, well, a relaxer. And so I'm just training my hair. So I'm trying to let it breathe. So I hot combed it, blow dried it, and then I'm putting it up. So it did work for me. So... And the braids did too. I would definitely do it again in, in another two or three weeks. Um, the braids really grew my hair out. I made sure that my hair was moistured. And when I did take them down and within that week, I made sure my ends were clipped. And I just want to show you guys, yes, that Gala braiding hair is the truth. So if you're interested in buying Gala braiding hair, please be my guest. Um, the name is spelled G-Y-A-L Braids and um, is the best braiding hair in the world. 100% high quality. Not that cheap quality you get from the beauty supply store. So I just plaited my hair and I put a little grease at the end of uh, my hair to keep it moisturized and sealed. And I'm going to use my rubber band towards the end to seal it. And you guys remember my bohemian curly ponytail? So, I'm going to go back and wear that. But you guys think I'm going to wear it like this, do you? You think I'm going to wear it like this? Nope. I'm going to wear it as a bun. So, I'm going to be creating a bun out of this ponytail. And this ponytail is really thick. And that works perfectly because I want to do something different. So, I just played with the ponytail and I'm just playing with it. You guys, I love this ponytail. I would definitely buy me another one. So that's what I usually do if I don't wear it down. I usually um, place it into a ponytail. So when your ponytail start doing that, just pin one side. It doesn't matter. So I did that side. And then I'm going to go around. I'm just going to keep playing with it because I want it to look neat. But not too neat so i just kept playing with it and i'm just going around messing with my fingers 
with the hair and I'm just going to bobby pin it once again. So I probably had like three to four bobby pins in my head. So because I want it to stay in place. And this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I am going to rub in the edge control. I promise I will. But I wanted to just show you guys the finished look. And this is my new look for this week. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. And for more, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.